Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will demonstrate a fixed time countdown timer for the gamers. Now, uh, this circuit uh, requires only one peak, and I use the 12F519 peak, an LED with a resistor, the push button to start and stop the counter, and uh, a 5 volt buzzer for uh, acoustic uh, notifications. Let's see how it works. The countdown time can be changed in uh, software by altering the firmware of the peak. By pressing the push button, you will hear uh, uh, the noise, the distinctive noise of the buzzer, which means that the countdown has begun, and you will see the LED blinking. And this means that the countdown has begun. So, uh, at any time you can cancel the countdown by pressing the button and uh, keeping keeping it pressed uh, for an amount of time like this you will again hear the distinctive noise from the buzzer and the LED will stop flashing and this means that the countdown has stopped and of course you can restart the countdown by pressing the button again now, let's see some more features of the circuit. I have made here a simple software and this is a very simple 180 seconds countdown timer just to show you how the checkpoints of uh, my countdown timer works. If you have read the uh, theory of the of this circuit, you will find out that there are four checkpoints and uh, when the countdown goes below these checkpoints then the LED flashes faster and in some cases you hear a noise from the buzzer. Now I will start, I will uh, try to start both the software and uh, my circuit countdown timers simultaneously. Right. So now you see that the countdown has begun and the LED flashes at about one time per two seconds. And uh, the first checkpoint is at 120 seconds. And uh, of course, all checkpoints, as well as the countdown time, can be changed in software. So, let's see what will happen when the countdown goes to 180 and 20, sorry. We're about to see uh, the first checkpoint and now the LED flashes a little bit faster and we're going for the second checkpoint and that is uh, at 60 seconds and let's see what happens there we're about to see the second checkpoint and notice that the LED runs a little bit faster and we're going for the third checkpoint at 30 seconds Alright, now we're close to the 30 seconds and you will hear a beep at this point which means that we're one checkpoint before the end the LED flashes faster and we're going for the last checkpoint and this is the 10 seconds checkpoint which is right now and now you will hear the buzzer beeping every second and that's it thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects